This is the Australiana Pioneer Village at Wilberforce. It's 27 acres of picnic grounds and a um, village full of houses that were recited to the site in the late 60s, early 70s. And we've been working lobbying council for the last 10 years to let us reopen it and we received a lease and the keys last week. So this is our first working bee and we've got at least 85, 90 people here so far and more coming this afternoon. We're trying to clean up, do a bit of a muster and then uh, we'll see if we can get the blower working. I think out of all the buildings here, this is, you know, a little bit of effort, a couple of hours work and we'll get this thing going. And just got to reposition the anvil and uh, we'll be off, banging metal. I'm cleaning cobwebs down. And this is um, the little barber shop, right? So they came in and had their hair cut here the Friends were formed many, many years ago um, to make sure that the village ran properly and then part of uh, their thing years ago was to be a management team that ran the village and we reformed again when council were talking about selling it. Ten years of all our time and effort and a lot of money went into making sure that this stays in community hands. There are friends, old friends, and there are new friends, and there are friends even today talking about joining up. A lot of them are history buffs, a lot of them were here and remember it in its heyday. Just people who are really interested and realise what it was like years ago and want to make sure it's the same again, plus a bit extra. Well, it's just been a great turnout here. We've got people coming from, from all around uh, who are interested in, in helping out. So uh, I think everyone's really heartened by the uh, prospect of having it open to the public. The plan is to have a picnic, big open picnic day in about three months and then a big grand opening on Australia Day 2011 because Australia Day is here used to be absolutely magical. Dunny races, billy cart races, Australia Day ambassadors, just thousands and thousands of people. I hope so to get it back and running better than it ever was before but it will take some time. It's a lot of, lot of effort and if we've got enough guys here to do it, we'll do it. A lot of money, but mostly time, time and effort.